King James Bible, the Gospel of Matthew, continuing from chapter 13, verse 40. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do inequity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again the kingdom kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven <clears throat> is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who when he found one pearl of great price, went out and sold all that he had, and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea, and gathered every kind, which when it was full they drew to shore, and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus saith unto them, Have ye understood all these things? They say unto him, Yea, Lord. Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, and he departed thence. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished, and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not this his mother called Mary, and his brother James and Joseph, and Simon and Judas, and his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then hath this man all these things? And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto him, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he did not many mighty works, were there because of their unbelief. <clears throat> Chapter 14 And at that time Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus, and said unto the servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do shew forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John, and bound him, and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife. For John un said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. And when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the oath's sake. And them that which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given to her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel. And she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, this is a desert place, and the time is now <clears throat> past. Send the multitude away, 
that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said to the, unto them, They need not depart, give them ye them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake, and gave the loaves to his disciples, and the, dis the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat, and were filled. And they took up the fragments that remained twelve baskets full, and they that had eaten were above about five thousand men, beside women and children. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea and tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is the Spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake to the, unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, for it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him, said, Lord, if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come out down off the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, and cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherever didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased, that they that went were in the ship came out, and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came unto the land of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that, <clears throat> that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Chapter 15 then came to Jesus the scribes and Pharisees which were in Jerusalem, saying, Why do they, thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do, you also, why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth the father or mother let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever sh shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not unto his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus ye have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah's prophecy to you, saying, The people draweth nigh unto me, with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. But in vain they do not worship me, teaching for the doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude, and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Then came his disciples, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard the saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. Let they, let be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare us this parable. And Jesus said, Are ye also... Are ye also yet without understanding? Do you not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly, and is cast out in, into the drought? But those things which proceedeth out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, 
murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat the unwashed hands defileth not a man. <clears throat> then Jesus went hence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent un but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to lake the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And Jesus departed from thence and came high to, unto the sea of Galilee and went up into the mountain and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak and maimed to be whole, the lame to walk and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude, because they continue with me now three days, and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. And his disciples say unto him, Whence should we have so much bread in the wilderness, as to fill so great a multitude? And Jesus saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven, and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes, and gave thanks, and brake them, and gave to his disciples, and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat, and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets full. And they that did eat were four thousand men, beside women and children. And he sent away the multitude, and took ship, and came into the coast of Magdala. <clears throat>